846 in the morning. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160, 101.1 FM. Our conversation with our friends from the Indiana County Humane Society. Brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And Beth Finnegan is here. And you brought some folks with you today. I sure did. Yeah. I brought fellow board member Bob Nastas mm -hmm. and then Michelle Weecroft, who is our vet clinic manager. And we wanted to talk to you about a new service that we'll be offering the community beginning mm -hmm. in January. Um, we will be offering low-cost spays and neuters um, to the public on Wednesdays and Fridays to begin with. And um, we've actually been doing this for the last couple months mm -hmm. um, with our shelter animals and the animals from Four Footed Friends and the local programs like SNP and uh, Trap, Neuter, and Release. Um, been doing um, spaying and neutering. And we're at the point now at our shelter where we have reached um, all the animals that are adoptable have been spayed or neutered. Yeah. Yeah. So that wow. was a big goal for us. And we'll continue to keep that up um, yeah. now. This is going to include a little bit of pampering for them too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah definitely. You know, yeah. You get a little nail trim there, a little mani-pedi. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Purdy them up a little bit. Uh huh. I yeah. Like uh -huh. I like it. All right. And so along with vaccinations and, of course, rabies shots. Um, the, we will, we will offer microchipping, so additional services as well for the wellness of, of the cats and dogs mm -hmm. that we see. Okay. So walk-in vaccine clinic is going to be. Michelle, what is it going to be? It's Help, gonna Michelle. Be, it's going to be the second Friday of every month from 4 to 6 p.m. So if you need to get your dog up to date on vaccines, just come on in during those hours. No appointment necessary. No report, just nope. Bring them in. Yep. Bring them in. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, okay, so some other things. Uh, you've got a new phone number for the vet clinic? Yep, the new phone number is 724-465-3994. Mm -hmm. Our website for the vet clinic is under construction, but it's soon to launch, and there'll be links from our from the Indiana County Humane Society website to, to that website. Um, and uh, yeah, so if anybody has any questions, they're welcome to call the shelter at the number we just gave you, 724-465-3994. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bob, what's going on with you today? Well, I wanted to mention that, you know, we, we have geared ourselves towards community service with this project, but other things that we do that people don't necessarily know. There was a fire in Commodore several weeks ago where the family was left homeless and also their animals so we've been housing their animals for probably i guess three weeks mm -hmm. those people come to visit almost every day and visit their animals and uh you know they the the red cross hooks the the people up with a place to stay but there's no room for the animals well i guess there was they could have two dogs under 20 pounds and unfortunately they they weren't yeah we are also housing a dog from the alice paul house until mm. Uh, you know, that situation is, is resolved. So we do lots of things for the community that um, aren't necessarily foremost in your mind. Yeah. And, and, and you know, if you think of a family that is separated from their pet, uh, and it's so great that they can come and they can visit with their pet every day, but you know, they'd like to just be back with them and have yeah. them with them all the time. Yeah, and I think it's a great source of comfort for these folks who have had to deal with a fire that destroyed their house. And and as Bob said, they come every day to the shelter and, and, and enjoy the time with their pets. And they know that their pets are being taken care of by our fantastic shelter staff. And, um, you know, we're really happy uh, to be able to offer that service to our county and community and um yeah, that it all takes a village, doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. Sure. You know, I, I want to get back to something you mentioned earlier, and, and Michelle, you talked about this as well, uh, and that is that all of the pets have been spayed or neutered that are available for adoption at the Humane Society. That's a big deal. It is a huge deal. You know, it's important for us to control the animal population in our community as much as possible by, spay, by being so proactive with spaying and neutering, not just our shelter pets and, uh, and four-footed friends' shelter pets, but also the, the, the feral cats uh, in our community, it helps to, to control that animal population, uh, thereby helping our shelters uh, lessen the, the load that we have uh, of, of animals at our shelter. It's just a win-win situation all along. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, there's something that you uh, told me about uh, in an email earlier, too. 
help me with it, 12 Days of Adoption. What, what is that? What's that big promotion you got going <laughs> okay, here? Okay, so th- this is really fun. We, we uh, came up with the 12 Days of Christmas Adoption Special. Okay. So from now until Christmas, all of the shelter animals, dogs, cats, horses, a- any animal that we have available for adoption mm-hmm. is a half-price adoption. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to yeah. help them find their forever homes at this special time of year. Your stocking is hanging on the mantle right now. That <laughs> horse might not necessarily fit in it. No. But maybe a coupon that says, I got your horse. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there you go. So how do folks take advantage of that? Just stop by? Yep, they just need to complete an adoption application. And once approved, um, you know, they can let us know which animal they're interested in. Um, our shelter is open on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, um, I'm sorry, let me repeat that. Tuesdays, Saturday, and Sunday from 1 to Mm 5, and then Wednesdays and Fridays from 1 to 6. And they're welcome to stop by during those times to visit with our shelter animals. Okay. And fill out that application. That's terrific. For half price adoptions. So, terrific. yeah. Okay. So, you'll have some upcoming fundraising events coming up. Whichever one of you, if you want to divide this up or not, each of you can tell us about them, however you want to do it, Beth. Okay. I'm going to start with the Pittsburgh Penguins raffle. Right now, we have tickets available at the shelter for this really great raffle. It's um, The winner will receive two tickets to the Penguins Washington game, which is on March 22nd, along with $250 cash to have some fun. Um, and and tickets are ten dollars, and the proceeds benefit the shelter animals. Um, and then the next, uh, or the other big thing we're working on right now, and I'll have Bob talk about this, is our spring gun bash. Okay, it'll be March seventh. It'll be at the Altman Fire Hall. There's great, great, great food. I take a great deal of pride in making sure the food is uh, above the bar. And uh, six thousand dollars worth of guns. The tickets are uh, twenty dollars a a, a ticket there's 500 tickets sold two numbers on a on a ticket yeah how, how specifically do you go about ensuring that this is really good food uh <laughs> i drive to the other side of uh up the sykesville to buy the sausage <laughs> <laughs> i'll attest to the fact it is fantastic food and th- your ticket gets you um food drink we have a lot of fun it's a high energy night we're constantly selling tickets and um you know we ha- we have a good time it's yeah. a, it's a fun event and a great way yeah. to support the shelter Spe- special kudos this year to ic light they're our beer sponsor they'll be providing all the beverage for us mm-hmm Gaunt's going to get involved, huh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> exactly. That's terrific stuff. All right. So so there's that. There's what you told us about, Beth. Uh-huh. And, and then you've got long-term. We're looking down the road into, okay. what is it, Okay, this April? is fantastic. I am so excited to talk about this because this would make a really great stocking stuffer along with these other, um, along with the Penguins raffle ticket or the, a spring gun bash ticket. The KCAC has reached out to us and Four-Footed Friends, and they are going to be doing this fantastic show called Chris Perondi's Stunt Dog Experience. All these animals are rescued animals. There'll be two shows on Sunday, April... Um, 19th. 19th. Thank you. I couldn't find it on my notes. Sunday, April 19th, there'll be two shows in the afternoon, and... um, KCAC wanted this to benefit us and four-footed friends and if you bring a a, a new supply uh, or a toy to the box office at the KCAC they will give you five dollars off an adult ticket to this performance oh, yeah and we'll be there with four-footed friends we're going to have a basket raffle we're hoping to pull in lots of vendors um, you know that do pet related services in our community so it's going to be a lot of fun there in the lobby of of the KCAC yeah. so yeah. grab yourself a couple cans of alpo and head on down to the box office absolutely there you go yeah get your tickets put them in the christmas stocking for this show in april and and, along with the horse and 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 a horse (laughs) and a sausage or two from wherever it was that you were driving (laughs) one 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 more little thing there's a a a t-shirt promotion on our website Mm -hmm. Uh, you can go to the links and buy a t-shirt and if you buy a t-shirt i think they're 24.95 uh, five dollars of that purchase goes directly to the Indiana County Humane Society. There you go. So yeah. maybe something for Christmas, an idea, et cetera, et cetera. There is always the need for funding for the Indiana County Humane Society. You always are working very hard to set up events that make it fun and help you as well benefit all the different programs that you have. Beth, before we're out of here, because we're running out of time, revisit the topic, the, the vet clinic. 
right? The, 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 our vet clinic will begin, will be open to the public starting in January. Mm -hmm. We'll have appointments available on Wednesdays and Fridays. This is for spays and neuters and some additional wellness type um, services. And we look forward to working with everybody. And um, uh, if anyone has any questions, they can call 724-465-3994. Yeah. And the new website isn't available for that yet, but it will be soon. It sure will be. And they can... ICHSVetClinic.com? Correct. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Very good. All right. Anything else we need? We've got a minute left. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, I just wanted to interject, too. The, the purpose of the, uh, the vet clinic is to help, again, as Beth said, reduce the number of um, unwanted pets in the area. It is not our intention to cut into the veterinary um, services in the area. I mean, non-simple things will be referring people to their ordinary vet, mm -hmm. to the regular vet. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. We have outstanding veterinary clinics in, in our community, and we work very closely with them. So, so yes, we'll, we'll help people know where to go with the problems that they might be having with their pets. Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Well, you've given us a lot to chew on here, and we appreciate Thank your you. visit today and wish you the best through this holiday season. Indiana County Humane Society working hard. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS AM 1160 and 101.1 FM.